Hi, welcome. Today we'll be measuring a cardiorespiratory test. We will be measuring a mild jog and a mild walk. They will be conducted at a track. Keep in mind that these tests are fully submaximal for a sedentary human being, whether it's a female or a male. As the equipment, we will go ahead and be using a scale. Usually scales come in pounds or kilograms. Uh, we will actually be utilizing both today. You can just convert the um, pounds to kilograms with 2.205. 400 meter track, obviously to complete the mile it's four laps around the track, in the walk or the run. We will be utilizing a stopwatch obviously to go ahead and keep time on the jog and on the walk. You can have an individual time you or you can time yourself while having a watch on your wrist, um, preferences on your side. Heart rate will be taken during these tests after the jog and the walk. A heart rate monitor can be used you can go ahead and check um, the pulse on your neck or on your wrist. This test we want to go ahead and warm up dynamically, um, get some high knees going, some butt kicks, um, knees to chest. Go ahead and pull that quadricep, carry yoga, low skips, high skips, anything that will go ahead and get your heart rate up um, and your body temperature up. Once again, I do want to emphasize that this test is submaximal, so you do not have to go at full capacity. Ideally, we want to go ahead and start with the walk, then proceed with the run, even though once again that the test is submaximal. Once again with the procedure, it will be four laps for the walk and the run. In between tests, you do want to take uh, maybe a three to five minute break. And after the test, you do want to finish with um, some static stretching. Proper working out attire is needed, shorts, running shoes, t-shirt, um, no jeans, obviously nothing too heavy or a sweater, anything like that. Once we are fully warmed up, um, we can go ahead and begin with the test. If a heart rate monitor is um, utilized, you want to go ahead and keep your heart rate um, lower than 180 beats per minute. In the walk and the run, you do want to go ahead and stay in the inside lane. Um, it's a shorter distance, um, but you're still within that mile. Once the walk is finalized, we can go ahead and proceed to the run. You do want to go ahead and set a pace that you're comfortable with um, and you're not exerting yourself. After both tests have occurred, in between you will go ahead and take heart rate. So heart rate after the walk, once again, and heart rate after the run. That is 15 seconds, um, you counting and then you multiply times four to complete the minutes. That finalized our test. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys have a great day.